good morning students today we begin uh, second unit unit number 2 uh, second unit is about sports okay uh, sports is not uh, um, simply you no know, running jumping or you no know, doing the athletics and so on no mostly sports the games you know that we play they are also closely connected with our own inner selves okay uh, take for example now uh, under this unit the first lesson will be the race so this race this lesson is about a boy called uh, Tarun a boy called Tarun uh, this boy uh, feels very insecure insecure means uh, you know a feeling that we always have you know sometimes uh, like I know I'm not really good at nothing I don't have any talents okay so these kind of uh, attitudes we call them as insecurities okay we also call them as inferiority complex now uh, how this boy who is so good at running um, has this feeling of insecurity no inferiority complex and how he is able to overcome by the talent that he has the talent uh, is actually mainly from sports you know sports you no know, of running okay right now we'll move on to the lesson and of course I will not be going through the whole lesson but here and there I will try to uh, uh, cover it up and then I will also add a video after this uh, video presentation then you can have a short summary of the lesson then you can read through when you are free okay okay we should go back to the lesson the race uh, first one we see <coughs> what's the meaning of race a race means it's a running okay running uh, we run we uh, any competition that that involves running is called race race competition okay running competition okay now what do we mean why we call uh, this lesson under this name race it means because uh, a boy uh, who is a protagonist hero here um, actually he rediscovers who he is okay from his running okay that is why this lesson is named after race okay now we'll start the uh, lesson maybe as you listen to this uh, lecture you can also uh, open your book and then you can go through you can read it Tarun was a mediocre student who is a mediocre student a student who is uh, not you know, very good at uh, so many things okay a student who is you know sometimes we can we can also call as average okay or can also be a poor poor uh, performer so Tarun was a, uh, a poor performer in studies. He was a mediocre student. His grades uh, could barely satisfy his parents. Um, they were not really happy with uh, his marks. And he was not a good singer. He was not a good singer. He was not a good dancer. He wasn't a good painter. Or he wasn't even an actor. Okay. Uh, sometimes you may have you know, this kind of uh, thing you know, going through our mind. Um, we look at students you know, who are good at uh, singing or so, some who are good at dancing, some who are good at painting pictures, some who are, are not good at acting in the drama skills and so on. And when we are not able to uh, do as they are singing, dancing, painting or acting, we usually feel inferior. The same thing this boy is feeling. He always thought himself, thought of himself as the black sheep of the family. Who is black sheep? Um, black sheep means someone who is totally different. Someone who is, uh, who doesn't um, feel uh, homeliness, you know, with the others. So that we call us black sheep, you know. Let us say it's a feeling of uh, aloof, A-L-O-O-F, aloof, or feeling of uh, lonely, or feeling we always have no different okay different okay that we call as black sheep of the family in his family he was you know, someone who was always you know different uh, because he couldn't compare himself with his own brother and he could not compete with his brother and he was not really able to satisfy his parents and therefore he was uh, he considered to, to be uh, uh, a b black sheep of the family his elder brother who was pursuing a degree in engineering from a reputed college always made the family proud his elder brother who was an engineer who was studying for engineering uh, always made he he seemed to have uh, had so many talents no um, more than uh, tarun 
but tarun was never good at anything like that tarun was not good at no we always see in the beginning we saw in the beginning he wasn't a good singer no dancer no painter not an actor and therefore he wasn't good at anything however okay we cannot simply say he's not good at anything but still though he wasn't good at anything but still he was blessed with the strength of a great athlete athlete is someone uh, who runs okay who does you know, gymnastics okay he was an athlete actually uh, he was an excellent runner he was excellent runner and though this boy academically uh, academically he wasn't really uh, shining well but still as an athlete he was a good runner he would run for hours and hours be it day or night whenever he felt sad or lonely exhausted himself by running thus releasing all his pent up emotions see whenever he felt really bad whenever he was really angry lonely sad or anything he will start running he will start running till he gets tired exhausted means tired uh, and releasing you know to release all the pent up emotion pent up emotion means when you are really sad or uh, when you are re- when you really feel lonely you feel a kind of um, burden within yourself you know uh, you know you it's, it's like your heart is aching it's paining the, that we call as pent up emotion we we we, we accumulate uh, you know, so much uh, pain and suffering inside of us that we really don't release them you no know, let them out that we call as pent up emotion so this boy what he does whenever he feels uh, sad or lonely or whatever it is uh, he releases all this pent up emotion stored up emotion by running Uh, at times he would miss the school bus uh, and would run to school uh, which was 5 miles away uh, so he makes use of this gift gi- this talent even uh, at times when he really needed to go to school okay he would run going to school if he misses a school bus uh, he just had a dream all that he had was a dream you know dream means you know what dream is not only uh, something that happens to you when you sleep okay even your own aspirations they can become a uh, dream so he had a dream to become uh, the fastest runner in the world uh, so his main aim uh, ambition dream in his life aspiration in his life was to become a fastest runner in the world in the world tarun did not know how to achieve his dream one thing is that he didn't know how to really achieve the dream on one hand his parents hated his running and wanted him to concentrate more on his studies uh, which he never did you no know? even though his parents know he is good at running okay they were not really happy with his running skills but they wanted him to study well do well uh, but uh, he uh, in his heart of heart he could not really study well no matter how he tried hard on the other hand he belonged to a middle class family and tarun knew that Uh, to achieve his dream he needed an intensive training the amount which was well beyond his family's reach what happened now he, on the other hand what happened he belonged to a middle class family okay they are um, neither poor nor rich you know yeah, it's a middle class means you no know, it's like hand to mouth existence they they work they earn okay and then they are able to uh, manage their life okay that's all Uh, so uh, for extraordinary expenses his family cannot meet him uh, his fa- his family cannot uh, afford to his intensive you know very uh, very uh, strict you know strict training uh, the amount would be beyond his family's uh, reach when tarun failed his terminal exam when he failed in the final examination his father was very angry with him his friends too made fun of him usually it happens in school days you no know? sometimes our friends do not know how to react and therefore what do they do whenever something uh, bad happens to us they simply laugh okay so uh, his friends were making fun of him his father was really angry it was the day he wanted to erase from his life you know the day was really hard on his uh, on his fault he was really suffering a lot he really wanted to um, erase means no to remove to remove uh, from his life and so what happened again he started running because he was really um, heavy in his heart and therefore he wanted to release all the pent up emotion he started running he ran all around the park the sun beat down to his you know, to check his rage but nothing could stop tarun even though the sun was blazing no nothing could stop him from running 
After about an hour, he was fully exhausted, tired, and his fury, his anger having subsided, which means you no know, anger reduced. Uh, he threw himself on a bench and started to pant. Pant means you no know, when you run uh, for a long time, you get the um, heavy breathing. You no, know? that we call as panting. Suddenly, what happened? He heard a voice. What is it, son? Someone is asking him. What is this? What happened, son? Uh, then Tarun looked to his left and there sat a man of about uh, 60. He, then he saw a man who was talking to him. And then uh, he was a man of 60. Uh, I failed in two subjects, Tarun replied in a desperate tone. So Tarun said, you know, I failed in two, su two subjects. Sir. The man smiled sympathetically and said, Life is full of ups and downs, boy. No. Uh, students, you should really uh, write this quotation and keep somewhere. Life is full of ups and downs. What's ups and downs? Up means no. Uh, we are happy. Down means we are sad. Okay. Life is full of happiness and sadness. Okay. It's not uh, only uh, it's not only sadness, but rather there are also happy moments in our life. So we should be able to accept these two, and then we should be able to go ahead so uh, that man uh, says life is full of ups and downs you no know, joys and sorrows but by the way i am ram narayan and you are one of the best runners i have ever seen so what happened that same person introduces himself he says i am ram narayan and you are one of the best runners he says he is appreciating him. you are a very good runner i have ever seen then the boy is asking ram narayan Ram Narayan, are you the same Ram Narayan who won an Olympic medal in 400 meter race in 1960s? Then this boy understands who Ram Narayan is. He is asking, him, are you the one who won uh, Olympic uh, in a medal for 400 meter race in uh, 19, 1960s? Then what happened? Yes, the pat came. Pat came the reply. Then Arun was dazzled. No, dazzled means surprised. Okay, uh, it's overjoyed. Okay, because you know, just imagine you meet uh, Sachin Tendulkar. No, in a in a park. Okay, how will you feel? The same feeling this boy has for him. Somehow Ram Narayan was a role model. Okay, now what happened on seeing the person? No, uh, he he's uh, you know a beloved figure in front of him. He was you know, really uh, you know taken aback surprised happy uh, he was happy then he, he introduced himself sir i am tarun tarun kapoor sir um then <coughs> again ram narayan replies uh, son uh, i have been watching you for past 45 minutes continued ram narayan and i see a good future in you no the ram uh, ram narayan has been watching him running for a long time okay and he says no you have a very good future in you then tarun could not help but blush what's the meaning of blush when someone appreciates then you feel a kind of you no know, um, kind of shyness okay it's a positive shyness that we call as blush all you need to do is to keep that passion burning in you and never give up is very, very important never give up have you joined some training school okay so ram narayan is saying all you are a good runner okay you have a very good future in you all that you need is to keep the passion you, you should you should keep that uh, spirit you know run spirit of running alive in you often and then he's asking him have you joined uh, some training school then tarun's smile turned to distress he was very happy he, uh, though he was very happy then when um the ram narayan asked him a question he became very sad because um what happened he says a training school is very expensive mm -hmm. i am from a middle class family i cannot afford to pay so much of money for my intensive training and therefore training school is very expensive so i am unemployed i'm not really uh, a working man i'm a student uh, feeling happy that he could joke even in the circumstances then ram narayan seemed pretty serious okay so after hearing him he was a bit you no know, he was a bit serious uh, so he's going to say something he says i can train you if you want but i have one condition so ram narayan offers to help him uh, to train him on one 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 condition so what condition hmm? tarun asked 
there is a race on the children's day at Negru Stadium. Children of your age are competing there. If you win that race, I will start training you. Okay. So what is that one condition? So one condition is that on children's day, there is going to be a race, a competition, a running competition uh, in the stadium, Negru Stadium. And therefore, uh, if you participate in that, uh, you participate in that race, and if you win, uh, I will start training you. So Ram Nayan will start training him if he wins that race. Then, then what happened? It is no big deal. No, uh, no. Tarun thinks, okay, it's not a big thing. No, I am. Uh, he is very confident. I am good at running, and therefore, I will win the race. Uh, I will, sir. I will. He says. Uh, he heard himself say with complete conviction. You no. Know? Then, fine boy, <coughs> it is my job to get you entry in the race and remember yours to win, uh, win it, tell me what is your name. And then what happened? Now he says, um, it is my job. No, no. Uh, Ram Narayan says, I will get a ticket and give it to you, okay, the, uh, the participation card and therefore you can participate in that race okay then he's asking what is your name then he says uh, Tarun Kapoor then what happens so he says Tarun I will meet you here after five days to give you your participation card okay all the best okay now he assures him that he will be giving a participation card uh, after five days okay then he wishes him all the best next day brought a new ray of hope so the following day he was really hopeful he was very happy Mm, so Tarun got up early, had milk before his mother could finish her uh, query means question on what he was up to. He ran out and went to the Negru Stadium to check the details of the race. So what happened the following day? He was very happy, and then he went to Negru Stadium to check the details of the race. Okay, what is the procedure that he is supposed to follow for the race? So he was very very happy. Okay, so Tarun started preparing with zeal, means courage, you know, with with all strength, enthusiasm, and so on. So he started running. Every day he would get up at four in the morning and run ten miles. So every day what he will do, he will get up at four o'clock in the morning and then he will run for ten miles. In the evenings he would uh, time himself according to uh, thousand meter uh, distance prescribed by the competition. Competition. He wanted everything to be perfect. He also wanted someone to back him up, and so he told his mother everything. So what happened? He is practicing. Uh, no. Um, thoroughly and then he also wanted that someone should know that he is doing something and therefore he is confiding in his mother that he is going to participate in a race. So what happened? Tarun practiced vigorously for five days and then met Ram Narayan to collect his participation card. So for five days he has been practicing well and then he got a participation card from Ram Narayan. Tarun gazed at the piece of paper which meant so much to him. So. Uh, the, particip the participation card that he received from Ram Narayan was so much. No, it's it's five. It's it's, uh, it's worth like a gold. No, if he is going to win that uh, race, then he is going to have a different future. Future uh, which he was only dreaming of. Okay, right. No matter what he had to win this race, uh, he wanted to show his father that he was not really a black sheep of the family and that he could. Uh, he could be good at something at least. So he wanted to prove to his father that he is not a, uh, is not useless or different, uh, different or unworthy person in the family. You know, he is not a black sheep of the of, of the family, and therefore he could do something um, best at last. Then what happens? And then came uh, number fourteen. Uh, so the day of uh, the race, you know, it comes after taking the blessing of his mother. Tarun pedaled away. Pedal means no to cycling. No to go by cycle. You say you can also say I have no pedaling away to the stadium. There was a huge crowd waiting to go inside. No, as he go as he went into the stadium, he sees a huge crowd going into the stadium. Tarun entered the office where the signboard read participants only. So he goes to the place where uh, it's meant only for the participants to enter. So he goes there and then with his heart beating faster every second. So natural, now whenever you you are going to write an examination, you know, ex entrance examination, or competitive examination, or you are going to participate in a kind of games or something like that, oh, you, know, uh, you 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 feel that uh, you know either you perspire or your heart is beating very fast. So same thing happens to him. So inside there, 
uh, were about 50 participants waiting for the race to begin there were 50 uh, participants okay so they were all, they are all going to run someone patted him on his shoulder okay he then says hello tarun so it was mr ram narayan all the best so affectionately and lovingly he says all the best tarun do well then what happened tarun smiled but did not say a word okay because he is a bit uh, bit afraid for the first time he's going to um, participate in a big race and this race is for him uh, it means you no know, uh, so much and therefore he's bit you know uh, bit uh, uh, fearful all the participants lined up each one hoping to win so all of them are to win okay so they are all lining up each one of them had his family and friends on the stands to cheer for them uh, so all the participants had their own family and friends to cheer for him okay to his amazement means not to his surprise tarun saw his mother in the stand okay somehow his mother had come to the stand okay uh, where the auditor where the visitors are sitting uh, the fear in his eyes changed to confidence now on seeing his mother he became very confident uh, the whistle blew and all the participants started off with all their might they were all determined to be the winner of the race so once the whistle was blown everyone started running everyone wanted to become a runner uh, to become a winner what happened in the lead was the fastest uh, of them was tarun so tarun was one who was um, the fastest okay he was one leading in the beginning see he, seeing himself ahead of everybody tarun felt very proud of himself okay the beginning he was the first one he's running you know uh, he was really proud of himself on the track there was a shallow path no shallow path means no where you find uh, no muddy no loose uh, loose uh, sand okay so shallow path he was running fast he was very fast so tarun did not notice that um, um, loose uh, sand so what happened breathing fast he saw the other kids going past him he could not be uh, he could not be um, he could not be a loser today so without wasting a second he got up and ran what happened he fell down you know, in the loose uh, stand and then uh, in the loose sand what happened then again he got up okay and then he continues to run uh, being quick run uh, Tarun to overtook a few kids ahead of him so he got up though he fell down in the beginning he got up and then he started running okay so he was very quick and therefore he was able to uh, overtake few of his uh, fellow runners uh, but as fate would have it he slipped again again he fell down uh, what was happening to him he could not bear it he looked into the crowd and saw his mother she was saying something to him get up son get up run so mother is you no know, his mother is looking at him and then she is encouraging him okay then he once again got up and then started running he was among the last few but he did not give up he was the last one okay but he did not give up he continues to run once more he took over took some children since he was fretting a little too much he fell a third time now he is panicked he is a bit fearful okay of losing and okay, okay so what happened again he fell third time he fell down so tears were rolling he was really crying uh, yeah how will he get into the ram narayan training school now how will he prove to his parents that he was talented he was the last kid on the track now so he was the last to one no almost the race is going to end he turned his eyes towards the stand then he heard ram narayan screaming from somewhere come on tarun run run and so he got up the third time uh, this 12 year old determined boy who was the last on the track got up ran with all strength he had okay what happened he fell down he started running he fell down and then got up and then he started running so what happened now the crowd started cheering for pawan the boy who had uh, won the race now what happened the boy called pawan he was one who won the race but to to tarun's surprise there was a loud applause when he crossed the finishing line at last he was the last one but to his amazement to his surprise uh, even as he reached the finishing line everyone started clapping uh, so the audience cheered for his cheered for his determination and his valor for never giving up so the audience appreciated him they cheered for him because of his great determination and his um, valor for never giving up okay so he bowed his head with shame and said to narayan i am sorry sir i lost 
so what happened now ram narayan is coming to meet him and then he he is very he is very much ashamed okay so he says i am really sir, sorry sir i lost now what happened what is what is going to say no son to me you have won the toughest race you did not lose though you came last you did not lose the race but you have won the toughest race the race of your life you got up you started afresh each time you fell you are a real life hero so now the real thing here we find is that it's not winning the race it is your attitude during the race okay this boy though he uh, finished uh, uh, as a last runner but still he had the will power to finish the race though he fell down he got up though he fell down he got up he never wanted to give up okay so that is what made him to be the real winner of that race so your training starts tomorrow now what happened ram narayan appreciates him okay uh, you have got that courage and zeal and determination you never want to give up and therefore you are the uh, real winner for me and then he says tomorrow your training your training starts tarun could not believe his ears so tarun's Mm, tears filled his eyes again he smiled at his mother who hugged him and said you are the best son in the world so what happened finally mother says you are the best son in the world okay right so um with that we complete okay so what do you learn from this lesson mm-hmm. you need to write a few uh, a paragraph about never giving up okay and then uh, write it in your class note when you come to school you have to show it to me okay Uh, thank you have a nice day As part of the Children's Day celebration, many competitions are arranged here. First is the running race. It is really great to see a big crowd to participate and applaud the children for running race. Do you know what is the specialty of this day? Yes, our Nehru or our Chachari's birthday. He likes children very much. As part of this, we are conducting this competition. Okay, there are about 50 children who are here to participate. The race is going to start shortly. All in very tense and filled with anxiety. it will be flag off by o- former olympian sri ram narayan yes the race is starting now ram narayan has flag off the race the countdown starts now 3 2 1 0 for oh, what an excellent race is going on tarun overtaking rohit ashik last power up up oh my god what is happening to tarun he fell down others are passing him oh he is again running up up he is overtaking others oh god what is happening to tarun i can't believe it he fell down again good he stood up and running again what is happening to tarun he again fell down at the term, third time also he stand up and run go oh, no finally pavan has won this game now he is the proud owner of an hercules cycle the second prize is a tablet that sponsored by joya lucas the third prize is an 
Adidas shoe sponsored by Almanama Wedding Center. Anyway, well done, Tanu. It was an amazing race. 